This is why I train in martial arts. It's 2017, and apparently people are still being burned and lynched in Jackson, Mississippi. This is why I train in martial arts. I gotta admit, I've never seen anything like this. What started out as a report of suspicious activity took a gruesome turn when officials arrived on scene. Officers were flagged down and they were advised there was what appeared to be a human head of an unidentified black male located on the front porch of a residence within this block. Officials tell us the head was found on Deer Park Street just after 9 this morning, but just hours after the head was discovered, police were called to a wooded area on Green Avenue, just a few miles from that scene. A citizen reported what they thought might be a human body. And when police arrived, that's exactly what they found. It is the remains of a human that w did not have a head attached to it. We're told the remains were found burned as well. Right now, police are still trying to figure out if the two incidents are related. Many times, you know, criminals will intend to place something at a certain place, but they may have had the wrong location. There's no indicator specifically at this point. The reasoning behind these crimes is still unknown, but you know I'm not I'm not gonna speculate. Neighbors tell us they think they know what might have caused them. The thing I can see that comes to mind is somebody sending a message to somebody. It's an awful thing. Can't put it in words. It's sad, but it's true. Katie Rowe, WJTV 12. I think it's a bunch of messages that could be sent, and this could have been racially motivated. Or they could have been going after a specific person. But this sounds like a lynching to me. And I mean, just based on history in the United States, they found a severed head of a black person. Sounds to me like it, someone was having some uh, racial terroristic activities. So why do you think you don't need to learn how to protect yourself? Especially if you live in an area it has a history of something like this. Even if you don't live in an area that has a history of something like this, stuff like this happens. To spread the word about these acts of terrorism that go on in the United States. And if you're near me, in addition to learning how to use a gun, which I'm not gonna teach you, you need to learn how to fight if you drop the gun. According to everything I've read and researched, Taekwondo was invented for if you drop the gun. And Judo was invented for if you have to fight up close. So. Call 301-894-6616. You want to find out more? Go to cecilryu.org. Peace.